Well, you most likely, you certainly remember Cameron Boyce. He was a child actor who starred in films and TV. Boyce starred in the Disney TV series Jesse and the Disney franchise Descendants. Tragically, his life was cut short in 2019 when he died following an epileptic seizure. His parents started the Cameron Boyce Foundation. That foundation has just awarded its largest grant, uh, was just awarded its largest grant, $250,000. And his parents, Libby and Victor Boyce, join me now live. The two of you, thank you so much for being with us today. Let's start by... Absolutely. Thank you for Let's start by uh, finding out more about what this grant is going toward. I know that there's an acronym, Sudden Unexpected Death and Epilepsy, SUDEP. So tell us a little bit more about that. Well, it's something that we learned about um, after, you know, Cameron passed, the medical examiner told us about it, and we thought it was just a description of how he died, but actually it is a condition that occurs. It is rare, but I think it's very, very underreported. Um, sudden unexpected death and epilepsy essentially means that um, an individual has a seizure um, and has no other medical condition that would uh, be causing their death, that the seizure actually causes their death. Um, and so it's something we've learned a lot about since Cameron died, um, and we knew very little about uh, before he died. Um, yes, we did um, do a large grant to um, an investigator in upstate New York, Dr. Auerbeck, um, who is looking at um, uh, cardiac conditions and so on related to SUDEP. Um, and so we um, are very focused on SUDEP in our research and just want to say there's uh, a lack of funding um, in uh, any research related to epilepsy considering the size of the issue. Um, it's the number one neurological issue um, and condition um, uh, out there and uh, one in 26 people will be impacted by epilepsy. So it needs more funding for research, period. Oh yes, it does. Uh, and, and Victor, you also have a Now What campaign. What is that all about? Well, the Now What campaign is, is designed to help people. Once you're diagnosed with epilepsy, a lot of people, they don't have resources, they don't know where to turn. So we're trying to provide information about what do you do next? You've been diagnosed, now what? Um, you know, what kind of hospital should you go to? So um, if you go to the, our page at CameronBoyceFoundation.org, you can see the whole program, now what? And it, it's very informative and it's designed to help people. Like I said, they, a lot of people don't have resources. They don't have places to turn. They don't know what to do. We certainly didn't know what to do. Um, we weren't provided with adequate information. So because of that, we want to make sure that that doesn't happen going forward. So if you, if you check out the page, the Now What thing is very, very informative and it's designed to help people who are newly diagnosed. I certainly don't want to make this about myself, but I myself, as a nine-year-old, had a grand mal seizure, So, uh, and I was on medication for that for almost 10 years. I, I know someone like my mother, a single mom, would have you know, loved to have an organization like yours at the time to get some answers, so thank you so much for that. I also want to tell you that your, your son here was at the station in 2019, shortly before his death, and he overwhelmed me in his presence. He was so beyond his years, and he was here to talk about his work with United Way and helping the homeless community. That's how amazing this young man was, so I wanted you to know that, just how impressive he was. Uh, and lastly, I wanted to just end with the idea that the Cameron Boyce Foundation really helps destigmatize epilepsy. Mom and Dad, what do you have to say about that? Yeah, that's one of our main things because, um, like Libby said, you know, epilepsy is affects a lot of people. One in 26 people will be affected by epilepsy in their lifetime. And, um, you know, people talk about Parkinson's and cancer and, um, you know, help me out here. Well, we just encourage them. We're so happy, like, you're telling your story. Yeah. People need to tell their story more, and we need to bring it, like, out of the shadows. Out of the shadows and, and bring it and, and, and normalize it and destigmatize it because, you know, that's how you get funding. That's how you get people talking about it. That's how, you know, when Cameron passed, we were overwhelmed by how many people on social media came to us and said, wow, I have epilepsy or my mother have, has epilepsy or 
you know, we didn't know how many people were really affected. And when he passed, you know, you know, it's the most horrible thing that happened to us. But but a good thing that came of it was that people started coming out and talking about it more. Right. And so that's when we realized we have a platform. We can really help people. And so that's our mission. And that that's that's what's happening with us. Um, and we definitely want to destigmatize it because for some reason it, it's something that people want to hide from. And, you know, people don't hide from Parkinson's or cancer. They, you know, they, they talk about it. They have events. They have uh, mm -hmm. runs and marches and stuff. You never see that for epilepsy. So that's what we, we want to do going forward. Hey, if you want a uh, Fox 11 ambassador, I'm here. Uh, I'm happy you're to high, help spread the word and tell my story. We already talked about it off air. We're, we're oh, hired. good. Yes let's, yes, let's talk off air. Thank you so much, the yes. two of you. For more information yes. uh, about the foundation or to donate, you can go to the CameronVoiceFoundation.org or we have all of this on our own website. That's FoxLA.com. Libby and Victor Boyce, an absolute pleasure. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for sharing your story. Absolutely. That's